Good afternoon, Redeemer family, and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our epistle reading for the sixth Sunday after the Epiphany of our Lord. The epistle reading for the sixth Sunday after the Epiphany of our Lord is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 to 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 9. But I, brothers, could not address you as spiritual people, but as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. And even now you are not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, you are not of the flesh, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? For when Paul says, or when one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos, are you not merely being human? What is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you believed, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. You know, I, I've served three different parishes in, in my ministry, and naturally, um, at least in our church body, you know, there's I'm just a replacement for the guy who came before me. You know, I was, in my first parish, I was an assistant pastor, and then the pastor took a call, and then I was, you know, I followed him. Um, my second parish, I followed uh, a man who had spent 26 years in that parish and then retired. And then when I came here to this parish, I followed a man who was here for, I think, 32 years and then retired. And so uh, I'm always a replacement, but every pastor is. A replacement for someone who came before. And so I hear, I've heard in every parish I've served, of the previous pastors, I even had in my first parish people who wanted me to be like uh, the previous pastor and do things the way that previous pastor did, but it didn't really matter. You see, I'm just a servant, someone that God called, chose, and put me in that place to do simple work, the work of planting, the work of watering, the work of, of tending what God was planting and doing in the hearts, minds, and souls of men and women and children in this congregation and in the congregations I've served. God wants to use me for whatever reason. And the fact that he wants me at all is always a mystery. I'm a sinner, I'm a, just a goofball who God chose to serve. And so whether the pastors before me or the wolves who come after me are better than I, I don't know, doesn't matter. Because in Paul's words, you know, we really don't mean anything. Because it's God doing the work through the word. It's God the Holy Spirit reaching the hearts of men, the minds of men, the souls of men, working in their lives, change, sustaining faith, strengthening faith, comforting, guiding, directing, blessing, creating and doing all kinds of things through the power of his word. A couple of weeks ago when I preached uh, my sermon on the Beatitudes, I had uh, a member of the congregation um, text me and um, she told me what she felt that she had heard in the message and what it had meant to her. And I can guarantee you it's something that I wasn't thinking about and it wasn't something that I was intending as I was delivering the message. But the Holy Spirit was. 
And so each and every person who hears God's word has the Holy Spirit working in their heart, in their mind, in their soul, and he is giving them what they need. So the message becomes unique to them, unique to that person, because the Holy Spirit is making it unique, making it unique to serve the needs of that person. So it doesn't matter who I am. It doesn't matter what pastors have served here. It doesn't matter what other teachers. As long as those servants, those pastors, those teachers have been faithful to God's word, God is doing the work in that word, through that word, to accomplish what he wants to accomplish, to give what he wants to give, to bless in the way he wants to bless the hearts of his people. You know, the very last words that Paul uses here in this section of 1 Corinthians, he says, you are God's field, God's building. God's doing the work. God's doing the planting. God's doing the watering. Yes, he may be using me or someone else as a servant to plant or water, but it's still his. His accomplishment, his work, his growth. I'm just a servant. And so as every other pastor and every other teacher, just a servant to God who gives the growth, to God who changes the hearts, to God who feeds the soul. He's doing it. In his name, amen. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the gift of your word and how you, you feed us and sustain us, strengthen us, guide us, direct us, create in us new hearts, and sustain us through difficult times. And we ask that you would help us to remember that. The servants that you call and place in our midst are just that, servants to you. But you're doing the work. You're creating the growth. You're bringing unique messages and unique deliveries to the minds and hearts and souls of your people that they might from you receive exactly what you want them to receive, exactly what they need from you. Help all of us to recognize that, to hear your word as coming from weak servants, but being accomplished and working from a mighty, loving, gracious, and merciful God. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed Wednesday. May the Lord uh, uplift you and strengthen you by his word today. And we'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's devotion. Have a blessed day.